Does it say Hanukkah? <laughs> I don't even know. Hello, hello. I think the, I need more light. Maybe if I do this, a little weird, eh? But anyways, we're gonna deal with that. So hello for those catching the replay of this. Um, if you're watching the replay, put hashtag 2020. No, put hashtag excuses. That's what we're talking about. And I'm just gonna share this. Uh, what I'm talking about is time to ditch the things that do not serve you, have been holding you back, right? Hello, Karina. There's things, you know, that seriously, it's really time for us to say goodbye to. And what a perfect time when we're entering a new year and a new decade. So that's what I'm talking about in this video. I'm going to talk about some of the things that I am saying goodbye to for 2020. And I would love to hear for you what your thoughts are on that because, um, you know, it's a powerful time. And I think we really need to, like do some reflection and hi Helen from New Zealand you're in your summertime we are in the cold here in Canada that is for sure Woo. so I'm really missing the warmth oh my god I'd like to go back to Bali about right now I don't think this is sharing I'm just gonna try one more time sorry about this sometimes my thing is just doesn't work too well so have you guys done any planning for the new year are you thinking about what you want to create what you want to let go of what habits beliefs people could be people right could be people man sometimes we need to let go of some people eh? <laughs> well that's the truth i can tell you that absolute truth and um, don't be scared to, right? Because they have their life. You get to have your life. And I think that's what a lot of people um, worry about is, oh my God, I'm so scared to like make changes in my life. I'm so scared that someone's going to be mad at me or that, oh my God, I'm going to hurt someone, right? You really got, if someone's holding you back, it's really time to let go, you guys. It's really time to let go. Relationships that aren't serving you anymore. Um, jobs, which you don't have to do right away. <laughs> Right, if you know there's a job that's completely unfulfilling, that's sucking all the life and soul out of you, and you know that you want to do something more, you know you want to do something different, right? Then start being open to possibilities. So how you, oh, from, let's talk about what I'm going to let go of this year, okay? So I am going to start letting go of all the things that, old beliefs that I have, and I'm going to share some of them with you guys, beliefs that I have, that are holding me back. And I still have realized that I have these beliefs. I was on a coaching call uh, with a coach today and yesterday and today, a masterclass. And oh my God, I'm really like, all these things came up. It's like, I still believe this, I still believe this, I still believe this, I still believe this. That's why I'm not getting any further. It's because I have these old beliefs. I still believe them. I want to pretend I don't believe them. I want to pretend that I'm totally good and everything's fine. And I'm just going to push through them I'm just gonna push forward and everything's gonna be great but the thing is is that if I still believe these things to my core they will run me if I still have an identity that I am the woman who cannot do this then I won't be able to do it if I have the identity of someone who is still scattered and unfocused and irresponsible and a dreamer never in never in reality will never amount to much um, you know, it's like the blonde, right? The stupid, the silly blonde girl who can't, you know, who can't really manage her own life, right? That is a belief that I have because I was told that so many times growing up, right? I was told that so many times, you're just a dreamer, you're just a free spirit, right? Oh, she flips from one thing to another. She never stays stable. She's kind of very responsible. She doesn't know what she wants, um, right? I'm multi-passionate. I want a whole bunch of things. <laughs> right so we got to look at ourselves what are we led to believe right Helen I'm saying goodbye to dramas toxic people who drink good 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 bring on yes I agree bring on 2020 I'm so excited about it um, let's get rid of some of the stuff that has been holding us back get honest with yourself you guys get honest with yourself okay honest with yourself so right um here's a question too 
what bullshit am I allowing to continue to happen in my life? What am I continually letting happen in my life? What am I continually letting take control of what I desire, right? You start out wanting certain things and you're like, okay, I'm going to do this like New Year's resolutions. Like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get to the gym. I'm going to eat healthy. I'm going to wear out on and on and on. And then we let all the crap come back in. We allow it in other people's, um, what other people want, other people's expectations on you, your old expectations on you. Like I should be at this age of my life. Uh, what other people think, what society thinks we should be doing as women at this phase of life, in this age of life, right? What are you allowing back into your life that is again taking control and shutting down what you actually really desire to create in your life? Okay, I want you to take a look at that, right? Um, what behavior, belief, uh, what beliefs are you carrying around still? Like I talked about, I realized that I was still carrying around beliefs. I have some written down here that... Um, I'm not serving me, right? I doubt myself. I think that maybe I don't know enough. Um, I don't believe I deserve to have success in my business because that's kind of meant for other people, right? So you gotta look at this. What are you wanting? Do you really believe you can have it? And if you don't believe you can have it, then you get to start building those beliefs. But be really honest with yourself, right? Are you constantly saying no to you? allowing other people's stuff take over, and then you complain. You're like complaining, I wish I could have this. Why can't I have this? Why does this keep happening to me? Because you keep allowing it into your life, right? So it's time to get really honest. It's time to get really honest with yourself and go like, okay, what am I allowing in my life that isn't, doesn't feel good? What have I wanted to say no to, but I haven't yet? What have I wanted to do, but I keep telling myself I can't for whatever reason? What have I wanted to change, but then get scared? How am I letting fear take over, right? Where do I lack belief, faith, and trust in myself? Do I trust myself to follow through with something that I desire? I want this, but do you really believe you can have it? And do you trust yourself to do what it takes to have it, right? That's the biggest thing. Hello, ladies. Um, what I realized is that I may want a certain thing, a certain way my business to be, but then the belief isn't there that I can actually obtain that. And because of things I was told when I was little. So these limiting beliefs and this identity or these identities that I was carrying around, right? That I picked up from youth because I was told I was a certain way. And so we just continue to believe it. Even our adult selves, you know, me at 56 years old still, is like, I can't believe I still think I'm that little girl who can't handle things. So I'll slough it off. Or I'm, I get to be the rebellious teenager. I still play out the rebellious teenager in many areas of my life. And that does not serve me anymore, right? I'm always fighting against this, fighting against myself, fighting against, rebelling, right? No one can tell me what to do. If you say I'm going to do that, I'm going to do the exact opposite, right? That doesn't serve me. That doesn't get me anywhere. So what are you fighting against? What bullshit are you allowing into your life over and over and over and over again? And you're just like, oh, I need to say goodbye to that. I need to let that go. But I don't know how... I worry about that person. I don't know what to do. On and on, right? Excuses and stories that we tell ourselves over and over again. Oh, hi, Molly. How you doing? <laughs> have to put my glasses on. Right, you guys? So what are you letting in your life that you know, you know what? This has got to end. I'm ready to let it go. I think this new decade is so powerful. We get to say, 2020, I am letting go of this crap that I've been holding on to that I've been carrying, that I that has been dragging me down, right? Let it go. You get to walk through that doorway of 2020 and release and leave that crap behind. That's what I'm thinking about. It's like, whoa, all these identities that I've been carrying around about myself, not ever being good enough, not the type of person who could, right? Um, the person who can't, the person who doesn't know how to do this. 
the person who's not good enough, the person who um, is irresponsible, the person who's not good with finances, the, the girl who's blonde and silly and blonde and stupid and stupid and a free spirit. She doesn't know what she wants and she jumps from one thing to another, right? She's irresponsible. We can't rely on her, right? That is not who I am and that is not who I'm choosing to be moving into 2020. So you get to now say what and who am I? Who am I going to be? Who do I get to be without all those identities? Who is at the core of me, right? Who is at the core of me without those identities that were put on me by other people, society, etc. right? So that is your work. Let's get to it. I think I'm gonna do something New Year's Day, the evening of New Year's Day about this so we can begin to really shift let go see have the awareness of what's been holding us back like really see ourselves like oh my god i have been believing these things i have been doing these things but i'm not choosing to do that anymore all right that's something for you to think about and i have a new program starting in january which is going to be called the shift and that's exactly what it's about shifting out of these old identities and then building and shifting into new identity, the new you, and carrying that forward and backing yourself and um, being true to yourself and building faith, trust, and believe in yourself so that you will obtain those things you really want to obtain and stop letting things stop you. That's coming in January. That's going to be my new program. I'm really excited for this and I'm super excited for this new year. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hi, Jane. How are you? And I will be probably doing a free training in my group, Women Creating Healthy Lives. So come and join me there for women over 40. And that will be probably on January 1st in the evening sometime. I'm in Pacific Standard Time. All right, ladies, this is time to let go of the bullshit. Don't bring it into 2020 and decide, design, and create who you are going to be, your true, authentic self, Who's that? Who's that going to be in 2020? All right. Thank you for watching. Much love to you. Bye-bye.